Hey guys, what is going on? Tech for Two back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make YouTube thumbnails on Photoshop CS6. As you guys can already see, I have Black Ops 3 thumbnail already on my screen. And I'll be showing you step by step how to get there. Alright guys, let's get into it. So first what you want to do is select on File and New. And make sure your page basically looks like mine. So what you got to do is change your width and height to 1280 times 720 and then you want to change your background contents to transparent if it isn't already and then you want to make your name whatever you want so for me right now I'm going to do Call of Duty Black Ops 3 once you've done that you'll have this checkered background so what first what you want to do is find a background that you're going to be using for this thumbnail so for my situation I'm going to be using Call of Duty Black Ops 3 background I already found before the video so so what you want to do is save image and then once that's done downloading you want to drag it to Photoshop once that comes up make sure you press the check mark and then so what you want to do now is add another layer from the bottom right and what you want to do is select the paint brush tool on your left and select what color you want for me right now I think I like a uh, red and I think it'll look good so I'm gonna select that and so what you basically want to do is cover a little bit of your left and then you want to cover a lot of your bottom and then again the right and make sure you guys have covered the right a lot because there's gonna going to be for me for my situation there's going to be a gun or you guys can if you're doing FIFA 16 you can put messy or anything like that so what you want to do now is change the opacity to around 75 yeah that looks fine so what you want to do is now right click and select blending options on the top so these are basically effects you can add to your image so now if you want to select on satin you click on the color and change that to red you can change your size to whatever matches I'm going to do 43 and now what you want to do is you're, you're gonna on the top you're probably going to see like some white spaces so what you want to do is press ctrl T and resize it so those white spaces go away just like that and now what you guys want to do is select another layer for your text so now press the text tool on your left again and click anywhere on your image and write whatever you guys want so if you're doing FIFA 16 you can do a pack opening or anything like that for me I'm going to do Call of Duty Call of Duty and I'm gonna make another layer just for Black Ops so I can adjust whatever I want separately so Call of Duty right here and now I'm going to make another layer for Black Ops. And guys, make sure it's capital because it, it does look better like that and more attractive. So what you guys want to do is move your text up so it's aligned with Call of Duty. And then now select on the layer, Call of Duty, and right click, Blending Options. And now select Drop Shadow. Adjust the color for whatever you want. For me, I'm just going to make it black. Over here, what I would recommend is around like 44 to 44. That's what I'm going to do for this video. And after that, you're done for this layer. And now you want to adjust this layer. First, let's change the bottom text to white. Because again, that looks more attractive. Now we can double click on Black Ops 3 layer. And it will bring us to the blending options. So what we want to do now is also add another drop shadow with black. And basically make it the same percent and pixels and yeah that looks good okay so now what you want to do is move black ops 3 a little bit lower or actually you guys can do whatever you want whatever looks better for you guys and then after that you want to add a gun so for me I'll add a gun you guys again you get you can add messy or anything like that so actually so I'm going to be using this gun make sure you guys search up PNG so it's individual gun not just with the background and then save it as anything again drag it and it will automatically make a new layer so now what you guys can do is move it to your bottom right where your text is not going to be and press the check mark and then now what you want to do is right click on the layer blending options and now you want to add the outer glow effect change the blend mode to normal and change the size to 43 or whatever you guys like and then change the color to whatever your back background color is so for me I'll choose red and now what we want to do is add an inner glow inner glow effect change the color again to red and select normal and change the size to 43 
And another additional thing you guys can do is tilt or do whatever with the text you want. You can move it wherever you want. So you can press control and press Black Ops 3 as well as Call of Duty. So you can move it and now you want to just tilt it. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe for future uploads. Alright guys, until next time, peace.